looks like the little dude, Antonio shall be bound. Antonio shall become bound. Well, three thousand ducats for three months, and Antonio bound. Antonio is a good man. Have you got any petition to the contrary? Oh, no, 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 no. My meaning in saying he's a good man is to have you understand me that he's sufficient. May I meet with Antonio? Who is he? Comes here. This is Senor Antonio. Like a fawning publican, he looks. He lends out money gratis and brings down a rate of usance here with us in Venice. I can catch you once on the hip, I will feed back the ancient grudge I bear him. Curse it be my tribe. Thank you. 
flesh. Not only will you lose the forfeiture, but touched with humane gentleness and love, so give a moiety of his principle, glancing an eye of pity on his losses that have off laid so hard on his back. We all expect a gentle answer, Jude. I have possessed your grace of what I purpose, to have the due and forfeit of my bond. You deny this, let the danger light upon your charter and your city's freedom. You'll ask me, why I rather choose our weight of carrion flesh than to receive three thousand ducats? Not answer that. Say, it is my humour. <laughs> did answer it? This is no answer that I'm feeling mad. To excuse the part of that. You go stand up on the beach and pick the main flood made as usual height. You may as well use question with the wolf why he hath made that you bleed for the lamb. You may as well forbid the mountain pines to wipe the high tops and to make no noise when they are threatened with the gusts of heaven. Let me have judgment. The Jews as well. My three thousand copies here six. In every ducat, in six thousand <coughs> ducats, for in six parts, and every part a ducat, I would not draw them. I would have my bond. How shall thou hope for mercy, friendring none? What judgment should I dread doing no wrong? A pound of flesh that I demanded in is dearly more. It is mine, and I will have it. You deny me fire upon your law. There is no force in the decrees of Venice. I stand for judgment. Answer! Shall I have it? Upon my power, I may dismiss this song. Unless Valeria, a learned doctor, who I sent for to determine this, come here today? Good cheer, Antonio, what man heard yet? The Jew shall have my flesh bone, blood bones and all. Eh, thou shall lose me one drop of blood. You cannot bear to be employed, Bassanio. Let him live still and write mine every time. Why dost thou win thy knife so earnestly? They cut the forfeiture from that bank round there. <laughs> My soul asked you, thou mayst thy life give, but no one can. No, not the hangman's axe. Fair yeah, half the penis of thy sharp envy. Can no prayers be as me? No, none that thou hast wit enough to make. Oh, be thou damned, little dog. It must. 
must not be. There is no power in Venice can alter a decree established. It cannot be. Oh, Daniel come to judgment. Yeah, a Daniel. Why is young judge how I do honor thee? I pray you, let me look upon the body. Oh, here it is, my reverend doctor. Here it is. Shylock, this rice thy money offered thee. An oath, an oath. I have an oath in heaven. Shall I lay perjury upon my soul? No, not for Venice. Why, this bond is forfeit, and lawfully by this, the Jew may claim a pound of flesh to be by him cut out from your merchant's heart. Be merciful, take thrice thy money, bid me tear the bond. By my soul, I swear, there is no power in the tongue of man to alter me. I stay here on my bond. I do beseech the court to give the judgment. Why then, thus it is. You must prepare your bosom for his knife. Oh, noble judge. Oh, excellent young man. For the intent and purpose of the law have full relation to the penalty, which here appears to you upon the bond. It is very true. But why is an upright judge no much more elder out now than I looks? Therefore, lay bare your bosom. Aye, his breast. So says the bond, doth it not, noble <coughs> judge? Nearest his heart, unto the very words. It is so. Are there a balance here to weigh the flesh? Oh, I have them ready. Have by some surgeon, Shylock, on your chart, to stop the wounds, lest you bleed to death. Is it so nominated in the bond? It is not so expressed, but what of that? Why would you do so much for charity? Well, I can't see it's not in the bond. You, merchant, have you anything to say? But little. I'm armed and well prepared. Give me a hand, Bassanio. Very well. Grieve not that I'm born into this for you. Repent for you that you shall lose your friend. And he repents not that he pays your debt. For the Jew too cut deep enough, a pain instantly with all my heart. We trifle time. I pray thee pursue sentence. A pound of that same merchant's flesh is thine. The porter wants it, and the law doth give it. Rightful judge. And you must cut this flesh from off his breast. The court wants it, and the law allows it. Oh, most learned judge. A sentence. Come, prepare. Tarry a little. There is something else. This bond does give me here no drop of blood. The words expressly are a pound of flesh. Take then thy bond. Take thou thy pound of flesh. But Not an the cutting it. Thou dost shed one drop of Christian blood, and lands and goods are, by the laws of Venice, confiscate unto the states of Venice. <laughs> is, that the, is that the law? Thyself shall see the act. For if thou urgest justice, be assured, thou shalt have justice more than thou desirest. O oh, learned judge, talk to a learned judge. <laughs> I take this offer then. Pay them on thrice and let the Christian go. I'm ready for thee, here it is. Stop! The Jew shall have all justice. Stop! <coughs> no haste. Shall have nothing but the penalty. Therefore, prepare thee to cut off the flesh. Shed thou no blood, nor cut thou less no more. <laughs> Nay, the scale do turn from the estimation of a hair. Thou diest and all thy goods are from this way. Why does the Jew pause? <laughs> Give me my principle to let me go. I'm ready for thee. He hath refused it in the open court. Shall have your justice and his bond. Should I not have barely my principle? Thou shalt have nothing but the forfeiture to be so taken as I peril to. <laughs> Devil give him good of it. I'll stay no longer. Question. Tarry, you. The law hath yet another hold on you. It is enacted in the laws of Venice that the offender's life lies in the mercy of the Duke only. All other boys. Then thou shalt see the difference in our spirit. I pardon thee thy life before thou asking. For half your wealth, it is Antonio's, and the other half comes to the general state, which <coughs> your humbleness will drive on to a fine. Get thee gone. <laughs> 